Customizing Microsoft Word's dictionary. Have you ever typed a word in your document here? For example, every time I type in my first name and hit the space bar, it thinks it's an error because it's saying, wait, there's no name out there that's spelled like K-I-R-T as in Kurt. It's usually spelled C-U-R-T. In fact, I can right-click it. Well, Kirk. If I don't like that, I can customize the dictionary one of two ways. I can either right-click and select Add to the Dictionary, in which case it no longer sees it as an error, or I can come up, click on the Office button, go down to Word Options, select my proofing group and then come over here to custom dictionaries and I can go ahead and add additional dictionaries if I wanted to or just edit the default custom dictionary when I click on edit there's my name it's part of the dictionary no longer being seen by Microsoft Word as a spelling error also we had Parkinson let's say I didn't want his name in there I want to go ahead and delete that and click OK in addition, uh, it's easier when in doubt to right click and add it to the dictionary from the little menu that pops up. Now that's the default dictionary. I can add my own dictionary and say let's create a new dictionary and call it my friends dictionary. And you can see automatically it defaults me to the folder where it has the custom dictionary. And I'm just going to type in friends here and click save and it adds it here. So there's uh, another dictionary that I have. You can have additional ones so if later you want to delete them and not mess with the Microsoft Word's default dictionary. Let's say for friends I've got a list of all these names in there for right now I want to be able to not have it as a misspelled word I want it as part of the dictionary for correct spelling. Well if after six months or a year I decide no that's no longer there I can come back here select it and delete it and still have my default dictionary. Also Word will first check its default dictionary so if this is the default it will check it first for a word and if it's not found then it will look in any additional ones that we've added or created here. So we could also change the default and now make this the top one. That's the default. So we'll check here first. And if it can't find the word in there that's not spelled correctly, it'll come to Microsoft's custom dictionary where the majority of words are sitting there. So let's take it for a test drive here. This is the default dictionary. Do I have anything in there when I click on edit? So what I'm going to do, you can either type in the word in here and say Parkinson and then add it or click cancel, uh, click OK, click OK again. Let me hit enter and let's type in Parkinson and it's not spelled correctly so I can right click and say I want to add it to the dictionary. Now which dictionary does it add it to? Is it the one that I default as the custom or is it Microsoft Word's default dictionary? Well again we can come up to the office logo, go down to Word Options, Proofing Group and click on Custom Dictionaries and let's select the Friends uh, Dictionary here and click Edit. There it is, it dumps it right in there because that's the default group there. I can go ahead and delete it from here. Like I said, if I don't want this dictionary, it's no longer valid anymore. This one I can delete, not worry about destroying all the, the hundreds of thousands of millions of edits that Microsoft Word's dictionary has for me. So I'll just select Friends, and remove it, and say yes, I want it to get rid of it. Click OK. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.